everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then please like and subscribe. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you some of the new shades that she's brought out for her La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Liquid Lipsticks which are my favourite lipsticks ever. If you haven't watched my other video of these lipsticks then I'll put it in the eye and link it in the description box down below where I do a full day wear test and these do last all day long. You can eat, you can drink, you can kiss your boyfriend and they will not come off. Um, even through wearing face masks all day, they even lasted through that. So I think these are literally the best liquid lipsticks on the market. They are very pricey. I believe these are about £31, but obviously they're worth it if they're gonna last all day and you're not gonna have to keep reapplying them. So out of the new shades that she's brought out, browns, there's light brown and then there's intense brown. Intense brown, I can't remember whose video I watched, but I watched someone's video on that and it looked a little bit streaky and it was just too dark. So I thought I'll just get the light brown. And then I also got endless pink, which looks very similar to intense caramel. It looks almost exactly the same, but endless pink looks like it has a little bit more pink to it. And I didn't get any of the new red colors because I already have Ever Red, which is a really lovely blue based red and I really like this one. So first of all, I'm going to compare the two new shades to some of the other shades I already have. So I'm gonna do some swatches on my arm for you. So these are the new shades. This one is Endless Pink. And then I'm gonna compare that next to Intense Caramel. So even though they look really similar, in the tube, they do actually look completely different swatched on my arm. Endless Pink looks a lot more pink and Intense Caramel is more of a brownie beige. And then this is Light Brown, which I think is gonna look a lot darker than Intense Caramel. Yeah. So Light Brown actually makes Intense Caramel look more like it has a more pinky undertone when you compare the colors together. Yeah, that's just a really nice chocolatey brown. I'm just going to compare these to Chic Rosewood as well because this is quite a dark colour as well but this is more of a mauve tone. So light brown and Chic Rosewood are the same kind of darkness but obviously they are completely different colours. Chic Rosewood is more of a purpley mauve and light brown is a true chocolatey brown which you can see on here. And I think Intense Caramel, out of all of those, quite close to Endless Pink, but Endless Pink does have more of a pink tone to it. So first of all, I'm going to show you Light Brown. Okay, so this is one layer of Light Brown, and I really like how this looks. It just looks like a really neutral Light Brown. Um, yeah, it's a really nice colour and you can make this darker if you build up with a second layer. So I'm going to let this dry down and then I'm going to do a second layer and let you see what it looks like with the second layer. Okay, and then this is with two layers of light brown and I think this does look actually darker than it did with one layer. And I think I would wear this in the evening, it would be a really nice kind of evening, date night, going out somewhere for a meal kind of lipstick that I would wear. And I think you could still wear this during the day just with one layer. Um, I think two layers is a little bit too dark just for every day. I do really, really like this though. And I'm now gonna show you it with the gloss on. And then this is with the gloss. So now I've got to try and get this off so I can show you the next color as well which is very hard because these lipsticks do not come off. So if you do use these lipsticks, try and get an oil-based uh, makeup remover. Just general makeup wipes will not remove this. So you can see on here the difference between Endless Pink and Intense Caramel. And then I'm just gonna show you on my lips as well. So first of all, I'm gonna show you Intense Caramel. So this is Intense Caramel and this is a really nice nude beige and I think it just is like an everyday colour. You can wear this with every single outfit and yeah, I just think it's the perfect nude. I really, really like this colour. 
Okay, and then I'm now going to show you Endless Pink. Okay, so this is with one layer of Endless Pink. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely see in person that this is a lot more pink than Intense Caramel, which was more of a natural kind of beigey nude. This has definitely got a lot more pink to it. I think with one layer, it's not too pink, but I'm now gonna show you what it looks like with two layers, which I think might be a little bit too pink for my liking anyway. Okay, and then this is two coats of Endless Pink. And I don't know, I think I take back what I said. I think when I wore this before, maybe I thought it was too pink, but actually, sat here in an all pink jumper, I don't actually think it is too pink. So I'm just gonna let that dry down and then I'm gonna apply the gloss. Okay, and then this is the final look with two layers and the gloss of Endless Pink. So I really like this colour, I don't have anything like it in my collection, and I think it's a really nice pale kind of nude pink. It's not too bright, it's verging a little bit on it. If you don't like pink then you're not going to like this. I would say if you don't like pink to go for Intense Caramel, as it's more of a everyday kind of the perfect nude. Out of all of the shades that I now own from this collection, I think my favourites have got to be the new light brown and then my old favourite which was the Intense Caramel. I do like the new Endless Pink but I'm more of a nude person than I am a pinky kind of lipstick person. I don't really wear pink lipsticks all that often but I think if I'm wearing a pink outfit then I'm going to get the use out of this anyway. So I'm not going to swatch Chic Rosewood or Ever Red on my lips today because I already did that in my last video so I'll link that in the eye and again in the description box if you want to watch that. So I'm now gonna show you just how hard these lipsticks actually are to get off. So these have been on my wrist for a good half an hour now and this is even without the gloss which works as an extra kind of seal to make them last all day. And I find also makes them feel more comfortable so they aren't drying and they don't flake, um, especially in the center. I found the Jeffree Star and especially the Kylie Jenner um, liquid lipsticks really dried my lips out and they crack in the center and just kind of flake off. Whereas these don't do that. If you put the gloss on, then it will stay really comfortable and just won't flake. So yeah, these have been on for about half an hour and if I scrub, they will not come off at all. They won't budge at all <laughs> and nothing on my hand. And then this is just with a micellar makeup wipe and nope, still not coming off. A little bit on the wipe, but they're really still not budging at all. Maybe a teeny tiny bit. So I would say to get these off, I try to use something which is more oil based. So what I'm now using is the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Cleansing Ritual 1. I also like the Clinique Take the Day Off. You can get that in a liquid or a balm version. Or if you just want something cheap, you could just get some micellar water from Boots. Um, I think they have one which is like blue on the top. So it's like the oil is separate from the actual liquid. And I think those work quite well as well. Yeah, just anything like that. And spread that on it. And then it should start to come off. So eventually that's come off, but yeah, do not try and take these off with a makeup wipe because they will not come off. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions then leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you'd like to see me compare any of these shades to any of the lipsticks I've shown in any of my other videos, then just leave a comment down below and I'll try and put that in my next video. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.